Well, summer is always a busy season for car dealerships, but this year is unlike any other. Inventory is extremely low all over the country, which is quickly driving up the value of vehicles. What the traded market looks like right now in tonight's Your Money Matters. I walked into the lot and saw a brand new SUV that I'm really looking at. Karen Murphy has been buying and trading cars at Vern ID Honda for years. About 25 years yeah. at least. And she's always on the lookout for her next ride. I just spotted this one blue pearl type car and it just caught my eye like the first baby I'd ever had and I have five children so. <laughs> a beauty she was able to take home for a much better deal than expected. I didn't realize what was ahead here with a with a good trade-in market. For instance, Honda Pilot values probably went up $2,000 over two months for trade-ins. Trade-in values are up across the board with used vehicles in high demand as new car manufacturing continues to be delayed. But the microchip problem is starting to get into some people's inventories. And a lot of the rental car companies aren't able to get the new cars, so they're actually buying late model used cars to put back in their rental fleets. So that has driven the price up a little bit as well. But even after nearly six months of inventory issues, car dealerships are still incredibly busy. I think it's pent up demand. You know, we've had 15 months of being locked up and I think people are feeling good about coming in and then they're doing things they didn't do last year. After 20 years in the car business, Vern ID Honda sales manager Steve Agabrotten says last month was the most fun he's ever had on the job. You know, we have a pretty good selection of used car inventory because we did have a record new car month last month, which took in a lot of great local trades. We've only put 11000 on it. We bought it last May. With locals like the Murphys adding even more highly valued used inventory to the lot. It's a gem of a car. I'm sure it'll go quickly. Inventory has been such an issue that some dealerships are making cold calls or sending mailers to former clients asking if they can buy back vehicles right now. It's very similar to the kind of creative marketing real estate agents are doing to try to increase their inventory.